How to install Paranoid Android Ruby build based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What's up peeps, Munchie here and let us go ahead and install Paranoid Android Ruby which is based on Android 11 on our Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you need to have a custom recovery installed. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Next thing, make sure you have backed up your persist partition and video for that can be found in the description of this video as well another thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent now as you can see i do have the redmi k20 pro which is running miui 12 based on android 10 however the process will remain the same even if you are on a custom rom based on AOSP. First thing we need to do is we'll go into settings, password and security and remove your password, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you've removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing those of you who are in custom roms based on aosp you won't have the option of removing your me account next thing what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video and here are the files which you need so for starters you need orange fox recovery we are going to flash it and no this cannot be done without using this orange fox recovery then you need paranoid android ruby based on android 11 for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and this has your system vendor boot and g apps are also baked in next up those of you who want to decrypt your device need disable force encryption important thing to note over here is that Disable force encryption or decrypting your device is a personal preference. The ROM will work fine even if you do not flash disable force encryption. So first thing we need to do is boot into our existing custom recovery. So first up, turn off your device and once the device has turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see your custom recovery logo. And there it is. As you can see, I do have PWRP installed right now and it is 3.5 version so first thing we need to do is flash orange fox how do you do that we will go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them manually you would know where they are first up select this orange fox file and then swipe to confirm flash and as you can see once the file has flashed successfully it will automatically boot back into recovery and now it should boot into orange fox custom recovery for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro if you get this message about unmodified system partition just say never show this again and then swipe to allow modifications and there it is we are on orange fox tap on the check mark next thing we need to do is tap on the delete icon which you see this is your wipe menu and here we say dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once this is done we will go back and then tap on the first option which is your files here again navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files and as i downloaded them on my phone directly they are in the download folder first file we are going to flash is paranoid android and then tap on add to queue and those of you who want to decrypt your device need to select disable force encryption i prefer to keep my device decrypted so i am selecting disable force encryption in case you do not want to decrypt your device feel free to not download and add disable force encryption to the queue once you have selected all the files swipe to install 
Once all the files have flashed successfully, we can scroll up a little and make sure there were no errors. So here it is, we are flashing the paranoid Android ROM itself and script succeeded result was 1. Then we are flashing disable force encryption and with disable force encryption you need to make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc. So now we will tap on the home button and then we will go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark as i mentioned earlier in the video format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and at this point everything is done all you need to do is select reboot into system and there it is we do have the paranoid android boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means the device is booting into paranoid android ruby based on android 11 and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen and let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen you can see google apps are pre-installed so you have gmail photos play store we can go into settings and go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version here it is paranoid android is ruby beta 1 android version is 11 the kernel they are using is immensity kernel security patch at the time of recording this video is march 2021 and there it is peeps we have successfully installed paranoid android ruby based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you